Hello friends, welcome, welcome back to my channel. This is Ebony, your friend from Nina's Bible Journal, and I am so excited for this video. It took me a few days, maybe a few weeks. Um, I've been having issues with my phone, so please keep having me on your prayers. But I did want to show you guys this awesome type of journaling Bible. And I know that I have an unboxing of one of them, but I do want to share um, some insights because one of them is most, can you Bible journal on a spiral Bible? Or what type of materials you can use on a spiral Bible? Um, can you use watercolor? Can you stamp on them? Can you use acrylics? Can you even create a tip-in using them? Can you use mixed media sprays? Can you use printables? How do they look with them? And so far, so on, maybe more questions of, how how long do they last do they get messed up really quick how spiral bible works what type of version do they have and i know my friend there's a bunch of questions right but i'm here to answer um the ones that you may hear um the most so once again um i want to share with you guys what materials i have used on my spiral bible um i had so the first one that I bought was the New Testament one, and I've had it, I will say, almost a year. Um, and then I got a few months, um, what it, it will be, the books of poetry, and then I just got the book of law. Um, so I, I, I'm going to share with you guys some of maybe like a flip through of um, some pages that I've done here on this um on this type of Bible and share with you guys what products you guys can use and it will work with you guys and it will work on your Bible as well as the different type of spiral Bibles that they have available and all that good stuff. Um, by the way, um, I will be leaving a link down below. I do have an affiliated link with them, um, meaning that I do get... Um, a certain amount of commission from them and that just helps me be able to make more videos for you guys now all of the ones that i'm showing you guys i have purchased with my own money <laughs> so it is it's not a buyout um type of i will never do none of that <laughs> so it's just a i'll say like a regular video i just have an affiliated link with them so i'll leave that down below just in case christmas is coming soon so if you're looking for maybe some products that you want to gift to family members, friends, they're starting in the faith, or maybe for yourself, but you just want to start studying the Bible, you go. You can go ahead and grab yours with that link down below. So let's jump in. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to start with the one that I have more of pages on them. Um, there's only one page that I cannot show. Um, just because it hasn't released the printable yet but uh, 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 everything else I'll, I'll share with you guys <laughs> so this is a new test um this is a new testament is the american standard version um why is it called spiral bible well when you study the bible and you know take it has that flat layout which is super awesome and inspiring it meaning you can just flip it put it up layout and right 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 it sounds beautiful and easy it's easier for note taking and it has a really good um has a really good um side margin and a really good nice um letter size so that's that's important for me because i then i, I couldn't see so um that is super fun the fun thing too is um i'll share you guys the new testament um i mean the book of the law has a whole um um, 2023 reading plan so for you to read the bible in a year so that's awesome so as i said um i'm gonna check so this is um i just have the new testament um basically there you can put property of your name it's american standard version and then this is the first page and then let's start here one of the pages that i use or i've i've made our journal on is this one and what am i using here well i'm using a this is a highlighter it's a click art highlighter i'm guessing 
and then this is stamping the lord cares this is stamp this is stamp this is stamp as well um what i use for stamping is versifying is i have one right here i have two of them but um this is um the ink that i use is versifying it's a black one onyx black i like it i've been using it for a year now i love it um and then for the inside watercolors and it's this type of watercolors um i just i was just doing a page and i was journaling and using this right now so <laughs> it matches um and it's a metallic accent watercolors it i use watercolors on them and it it worked you can see there is no bleed through you might see a little bit some harsh because of the stamp and the and the color but no bleed through at all it got stained because i didn't wait it for it to dry but um that is that then from there we'll jump this one i cannot show we'll jump here um and this is just regular car stock my cricket um the bits books of the bible that i'm using um so here we have the book of john have some favorites and i am just using cardstock with some double-sided chunky um tape so it looks like dimensional but it's just regular cardstock that i glue down and as you can see nothing has happened this i will say is one of my most hefty um pages i have acrylic in the background and acrylic gloss sprays this is um clear sticker paper clear sticker paper this is actually cardstock cut out and this is all clear sticker paper and this blue right here that you guys see is a um rub on and as you can see it is a beautiful page and in the back as you can see there's no bleed through on it so you can get a little bit creative um with your um you can get a little bit creative on your journaling in your spiral bibles another one that i have is this one this is more of a note-taking part but it has sticker paper has a little bit of washi tape has the verse here marked they have a tab on it and um it's all sticker paper and you can see i use some pens they didn't bleed through super super pretty um here this is the harshest one that i have and is here i'm using some jumbo pens i'm i highlighted those squares um with um oh my god with sharpie so that's why they kind of bleed through a little bit um but everything else again i'm doing the books of the bits bible all that i'm laying down below there's eight they're gonna be now well by the time this video comes out there's seven so there's seven sets that you guys can um you so i'll leave that link down below and then as you can see it's just um this is like a gel highlighter really really soft highlighter nothing happened this um it got stained here for me i'm stamping i get really bad at stamping so if i touch something i'll dye it so that's why i got um this little piece of stamp um but everything else worked fine and no bleed throughs um i have another page here, this is another um, creative page as well. This is from Creative Worship. No, I'm sorry. This is not from Creative Worship. Where my mind is? Creative Retreat. <laughs> this is one of the kids from Creative Retreat. I did some note-taking here. Um, highlighted some. This is cardstock stickers. Some stamping in there. And as you can see, there's no bleed through neither. A little bit. I imagine the type of pen that I was using it might be my Cricut pen, black pen, that is just, it bleeds through. Um, what I'm using now, it's, I will link them down below. They're from Mr. Pen. This black pen, it doesn't smirch or it doesn't like ink anything. I'm left-handed, so I don't let it dry by the time I'm already like getting it all messy. This one's they dry super quick and I've been using it lately for my Bible study and it has been working really good. Now we have another page here, again, stamping and more watercolor. It's more splatters of paint, as you guys can see. No bleed through. It You can see a little bit of the background of it, but it's not an actual bleed through just because I have, I'm stamping with black. Um, this pipe, um, the Bible, it's, the, the pages are white. So 
that's that then i have my little note that goes here and i knew this goes here there we go another page that i have is this one and this, this is one of my messier pages um it has all type of gloss sprays distress oxide paint um i think they have distress in the back this is vellum um and it's stamped it, i made a tip in from it basically i just put a washi tape glue it down there and here some gloss sprays and some fun stuff going on now the only thing that it did bleed through was um the pen that i was using and this um part of the gloss that it did transfer because it was like a a plop of color but other than that um it 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 didn't you know it didn't bleed through um here you can still see the section and again it was a type of pen that i was using that it caused that so it depends on you like i said this type of pen is is really good i use it even on my regular bible that the pages are even thinner than this one another page here i have is this one and we have distress oxide stenciling a little bit of um here we have a note and this is all sticker paper um so you guys can see it's basically if you you use a lot of sticker papers a lot of printables and sticker paper this is going to be your best friend because it's really easy to journal on it Gosh, the bow the bow there we go then this is one of my recent pages and if you can see everything in the background that is splattered is just watercolor metallic watercolor um i'm using gold and like a brick color um and everything else is with um sticker paper i am using this highlighters from mr pen i like their highlighters as well like i'll leave them um link down below and if you guys can see it just trash a, a little bit of the pen um but other than that um and it was not even a lot other than that you guys can see it's super good um to no take and all that another one one of my favorite pages i'll say is this one um there's a lot of note taking here i have a whole extra piece of paper on it i have stamped this all the background is distress oxides some fabric on the bottom some stamping sticker paper stamping and more sticker paper um and it, it did an amazing job for me to highlighters and everything um and as you can see there's not a lot there's no bleed through on it so for me you can use anything um if you're using watercolor my only recommendation will be maybe prep your page with gesso um the gesso that i use is this one art basic is my favorite gesso my go-to gesso so i'll link it down below but i'll just maybe prep the page with gesso um other than that it will be good you will be good to go to journal um now i have the book of the law um and this one is um genesis through um the Thorono deuteronomy I'm, I'm hoping i'm saying that sounded really bad um in spanish it's called autonomio so we'll take it like that um and it lets as i said you have a reading plan one year spiral bio reading plan you have week one to week 52 and it tells you where to go um on each one and i like it because i feel like this is yeah it's actually um time coordinating so it, it, it will be really good a really good guy here you have to make notes um and then this is the book of genesis you have the same type of scenarios that you guys saw on the new testament is the same for the for the book of the law so then here i only i have two pages no i only have one it's only this one that i recently did um again no bleed through i did um i wanted to make some notes there and then i did highlight in the back that i was reading but as you can see no um nothing is bleeding through um and this is the new testament i'm sorry the old testament the book of the law so here you guys will see i don't i only have um one one page on this one done and then for this one the same 
this is the paint that I have and I hear I used watercolor a lot of watercolor I didn't prep my page that's why it's like bleeding a little bit um, and it got um, watercolors they do get crunchy if you prepare with gesso it will get crunchy or I think I only did one um, only one round of gesso I should have done more but I w I'm not mad with it um, so this is how that page turned on um, this is the book of port a poetry and it's from job through songs of Solomon and it gives you a little bit of the note taker the Bible collection um, taking obviously notes helps you more learn to more more and more about God's Word and it's your time to study um, this one is the King James Version the one that I have um, and then you have another um, the book of poetry you have a one year um, reading plan as well which is super awesome so it's time coordinating so it's it's great I I'm sorry I think I slapped <laughs> the whole the whole oh my god sorry sorry <laughs> but um, this is um, how it looks I, I really like them if you're more of a even a Bible studier that you want to use you can use it because it helps you just to maybe stay on the book that you're trying to read so if maybe you're doing the books of the law or you go through Exodus. I know that I'm reading Exodus right now and I've been going out to Numbers and Leviticus. So you have it in one same um, in one same section. Um, so this is really, really good. Um, as you guys know, I'll, I, I'll recommend it. If you're trying, make this is for everything. You can Bible study, Bible journal, note take, s sermon note taking, depending if, you're, if your church has like a series or a Bible series, like example, they're gonna be working through the book of Matthew. So you can go ahead and take your the New Testament one and you know that you're gonna be working through the book of Matthew. Um, or if they're going through the book of Ephesians and you, or the book of Revelation, well, you'll get that all in one section now. They do have for men. Um, so if you're looking for a spiral Bible, maybe for your husband, then maybe he's in the ministry or he's taking fellowship classes and all that good stuff, there is a spiral bible for men um is the entire new testament in the new king in the in in the king james version for men um so it's just completely black um it's a black cover um and it says new testament king james version now for your kids maybe you're a homeschooling mom or a faith homeschool schooling mom and you always do like devotionals in the morning they have a spiral bible for kids which is awesome um it can help your child get hands-on with the word and study and it has some things that you can color on it um it comes to life they read they write they color they draw um and it's there and it's to the entire book of genesis which is super awesome and then for us you know you have the um bible as a notebook you know what i mean um now for ladies obviously we have more of a version um they have um, the New Testament, um, they have the, they have the New Testament on the W.E.B. Um, type of translation. Um, they have the, let me see, the King James Version in the New, the New Testament. Now, they did change for this one, the Book of Poetry. They have a new, um, modern version of it, so it looks it doesn't look exactly like this one but it's this type of nice like um acrylic background beautiful with gold details um that is it's just gorgeous um instead of like a regular one but that's fine it depends on your preference they do have like a new modern um and type of modern background um and they have like the actual they have the king james version um the new testament that it looks like a composition, like an actual like notebook that you can take, which is super awesome. And right now they do have a bundle for the new Old Testament um, for only $99 because it is a few books. So for the new test, I mean, for the Old Testament, um, they have the Genesis to um, the Deuteronomy, <laughs> um, Joshua through Esther, um, Job through Songs of Solomon, and then you have um, Isaiah to Malachi. Um, the regular price for it is 136 
no, sorry, 139 right now. They have it only for $99. So if that's something that you want to maybe send to your husband for a gift, um, you have the whole Old Testament together and then you can just get like whatever version you want for the New Testament and you have like your whole set for less than $130? No, like a hundred and less than $150 you'll get the like the whole set if that's what you want to do. But yeah, I really, really um um encourage you guys that if you're looking for Bible study but at the same time maybe to journal or maybe you don't like you're one of those person that do not like maybe covering the pages of the Bible when it comes to like journaling and maybe getting all messy and all that. Hey, I totally get it. Um, maybe one of these Bibles may make you feel more comfortable to note take, maybe do your little like doodling on it and then um, continue getting ahead. So that's all for today. I'm so glad that you, I hope you joined this video and watch it, share it, follow, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you know when Ebony releases a new video for you guys. So thank you so much for being here. All the affiliate links will be down, linked down below. And my friend, be blessed. May God bless you. Bye-bye.